Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Persona 5. I'm your host, Chef Musical Gamer, and we need to go borrow pot because we're having a hot pot party today in Persona 5. Don't ask me why. We're just gonna we're gonna celebrate the fact that we changed Madarami's heart. I'm assuming is is the end goal of this. Though everybody else went to go buy ingredients, I am left to get a pot. So yes, we are all having hot pot for dinner. Do you have a pot for me, old man? Uh, hey. <laughs> Want to join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was On, right? She's a nice girl. I. Uh, yeah, she she is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. Uh, oh, okay, so I should just go look. Uh, well, it's not gonna be in the fridge. You need a pot for that. If you're gonna take any food out of there, then you better pay up. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's your business, isn't it? Cabinet for kitchen supplies. Is there a pot in here? Please tell me there is. Ooh, you look at that coffee boiling there in the foreground. It's kind of cool. I like that little effect. Found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? <laughs> no promises. I mean, hell, you say Anna's a nice girl, but she's the one who could burn the and house now, down. On to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Gesundheit. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. Damn straight we are. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Oh? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Well, why are you asking? Are you? Are you warming up to us? Aw, you cute little student council president. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Oh, if only you knew. If only you knew, big sis prosecutor. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. Jeez, you're kind of a tough taskmaster, aren't you? Now. Yes. Mm hmm It's fine. Hello, Dojima speaking. <laughs> oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there, out there helping, helping people, people, I'd root for them, no questions, no questions asked. asked. What do I want to do? That's a very good question, Makuto. I, I don't know. I don't really know much about you, other than the fact that you, uh, kind of a oh, cis complex. I can't eat another bite. And Ryuji apparently has a stomach complex. Complex? That was delicious, complex. Lady I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Morgana. Cut off at the chase. What what are you doing? What the 
Uh. What's wrong, Yusuke? Were you two seriously about to? Oh my lord. Right. Uh, I think we need to have some talks and etiquette lessons about what to do when a girl is sleeping on your couch in a skirt. First of all, lesson number one, don't make it obvious. Lesson number two, if you get caught, you get clocked. End of story. We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. She's asleep already? Wow, she passed out quick. It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Oh yeah, didn't they uh, go to middle school together? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. Yeah, that's right. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? Uh, y you mean me? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. Well, actually, I kind of agree with that, but... I don't really have much of a story. Of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. <laughs> He's actually got a point there. We kind of know way more about him than he knows about us, do we? That whole Matarama incident brought everything to light. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. That's actually a good point. I don't think we've even heard Ryuji's backstory. Other than the track team stuff. Dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. Oh, right, and that his dad was an alcoholic. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, we just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh... She apologized to me. For being a single mom and all. Ooh, that's rough. So that's what happened. Oh. Oh, that's rough. I know a lot of people who have, you know, single parents, mom, dad, whatever. That is... That is a hard life to lead, both as the, the parent and the kid. I mean, in, in certain ways, it's... I feel for him. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Uh, <laughs> what, my criminal record? Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Wait, have I never actually told them anything about what had happened to me, other than the fact that I was arrested? Well, I guess it's time for story time! Story time with the musical gamer! It all began on a cold night Damn many, many years ago. I'll sue. Oh jeez, yeah, it's it's this dude for sure. I see his glasses on the ground. If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? Wait, what? What all money? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told! Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? What? Are you ki- Wh This is what happened? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But- Holy fucking shit! I see you next time. I'm not just clocking you. I'm ripping you in half. This is bullshit, dude. Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. 
We received a complaint about an argument here. Oh no. Is something the matter? Oh no, 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 no. This is the worst time for you guys to show up. She's gonna she's gonna do it! She's gonna do it! Uh, it's you, sir. I oh no. They know him! So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. <sighs> Fuck no. Don't do it! Don't do it, woman! I swear to god, I'll clock you after I clock him. That young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. Oh, that's it. You're dead. And this man got injured. What the hell? Is. No! Don't do this to me. I'm innocent, I tell you. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. And now we're still not even we're not even going to know what his name is. Hey, cop him. Understood. I'm just a innocent bystander. I did a good deed. I did a good deed. You can't do this to me. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it. You got an assault on your record just for that. Yep. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I... Uh, God. I... I don't know. I, I guess we never got his name. I, I also assuming it was dark enough that we couldn't even remember his features because he, he walked right in front of us back at the hotel when we were having the first celebration after Kamashita's um, palace destruction. God damn it. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. Yeah, it's pr everything probably happened, like, as fast as it humanly could. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Yeah, they'd rather cling to their power as hard as they can. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? <laughs> you slept through this whole thing, didn't you? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Oh, so you heard. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Oh, Morgana. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. Hmm, I agree. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah, we're the ones with the power. The power of persona, the power to change people's hearts. I guess we should use this power. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow. 
both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. All right, leave it to me. I got this. We're a team. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Oh no, don't say that. Oh, <laughs> she's gonna kill you. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. No, but I could. Ah, let's uh, get to know each other well, Rumi. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Oh, you're just going to leave like that, huh? Oh. All right, I guess. We'll see you later, Aunt. I need to turn back into a human soon. Oh, you little horny cat. You need to just chill. I can't let her get taken by someone else. I'll take her from you if you're not careful. Giggity goo. <laughs> Which also brings me to the point. Uh, I know there's plenty of romanceable options <sighs> in the game. The huge bathtubs really are the best. Han's missing out. Well, she wouldn't be in here with us either. But uh, I guess I'll bring this up now. I know there's a bunch of romanceable options in the game from all the female uh, party members you can get between a couple of social links, like uh, Tai, Takemi is one. I know you can also date your teacher, Kawakami, which is the whole levels of messed up, but hilarious at the same time. Um, there's also gonna be more that are going to be revealed in the future. So I know that it's, it's operating under the similar way that Persona 4 did, that once you get to a certain point in their social ranks, towards the end, I'm assuming, you will be given an option whether or not you want to romance them or just be platonic friends. So I'm thinking of starting a poll uh, sometime soon after a couple more characters get revealed and deciding then, and we'll have a, a whole voting thing go on for the for everybody to pick who it is that I romance and who it is I don't romance. Because I also don't know if it's Persona 4 logic and that you can just date everybody <laughs> or, or nobody. Because in Persona 3, you were not given a choice. You you ended up dating everybody that were your five uh, female social links. Uh, Yukari, Mitsuru, Fuka, Chihiro, and Yuka. Or Yuko. Yuko, not Yuka. Yuko. Uh, Persona 4, you got the choice. But you could still choose everybody. It, it's, it didn't matter. I don't know if this game locks you into a romance option or not. I should actually probably look that up. But, um... If it doesn't, I might I might just romance everybody again just for the sheer hilarity of it all and continuing the the pro tag pimp status that's been going on since Persona 3. But uh well that that's for future discussion. I just wanted to make a mention of it now. It's a bit hot though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about on as a girl? I mean. Oh, jeez, wait. I just had this conversation. Were you going right back into it? Uh, she's breathtaking. She's a great teammate. Um, I, God damn it. <laughs> Should I just make the executive decision and start being start being pimp, uh, pimp master gamer over here? I, I guess so. It, she is breathtaking. Oh, you straight up said it. Well, in her case, her looks totally make up for her overbearing personality. Overbearing? Really? I didn't get that vibe. I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. Wait, what? Oh, uh, please don't. Seriously? <laughs> that aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Maybe even Mishima could help with that. He's he's kind of the PR agent of the group. Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. <laughs> I'm more like the charge commander, and Morgana's a specialist of that world. Hmm. Hmm. 
until. Ugh, it's freaking hot! <laughs> you you roasted alive there, Ryuji. How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore. Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll uh, I'll contact everyone. <laughs> you totally lost it. Oh, that's great. Genius. Genius. Oh boy. What up? Did something happen? Am I going to sleep yet? I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious in comparison. Oh, we're just gonna sleep on the sofa. <sighs> my sleeping beauty. But I'm still Whoa. awake. Wait, I'm not talking about you! Don't eavesdrop on me! <laughs> you horny cat, I swear nice. to god. Uh, let's not die. I swear to God. Don't make me skin you, cat. I will. Well, you needn't worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. All right, sure. Night, Yusuke. Sleep tight. Are we having another Velvet Room sequence? Oh, God, yes, we are. Okay, Nose. What do you got for me today? Other than a jumpsuit and a horrible allegory to what the state of my life is like. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. I'm in chains, the girl. that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. That they are. Is that a problem? Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society. In other words, your picaresque. Deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Ooh, really? May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Hey, I'm, my bond with Igor is growing. Rank five. Super stock. Two more right. personas. Oh, that's nice. That's good timing. It's almost time. What do you, what do you mean it's almost time? Almost time for what? Me to leave? Or something else? Something you're not telling me. I don't, uh, I hate, I hate Gesundheit, so yes, <laughs> it's called the law. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? Oh no. May I talk to you for a moment? Oh no, a, a team up I do not want to see. Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? Gesundheit. You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. Oh no, please, please, please do not tell him that our group has been gathering together. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? Yeah, I'm getting that feeling too, and I don't like it. You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, It'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. You are so full of yourself, dude! <laughs> Don't you think the same about yourself, too? That is a good question. Oh, that's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. Wait, what? Oh, looks like it's starting soon. 
Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What the hell was that supposed to mean? See you later. Give sai -san my regards. And what, what the hell's starting soon? Hold on, there's a whole bunch of questions I have for you, dude. Why does everyone get on my case? I don't know, you've been having a hard go of it lately, Makuto. I don't know what to tell you. There's just people who seem to be out for you. It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. <laughs> I feel like he's just buttering him up. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I know you've said that before, but why do I feel like there's more to that story? I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? Yeah, I want to hear this too. <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. I need to do your link more. I need to learn more about you. you honestly, Sojuro is probably one of the more interesting characters to me. Because I'm curious as to what his whole involvement with uh, my life is. We're, we're total strangers. Like, um, in Persona 4, you, you went to live at Dojima-san's house because he was his uncle. He was family. Why am I here with this guy if he's not family? Not somebody who has, um, who can take guardianship responsibilities. I don't understand. That's all. It doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? What? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Oh my god, you're... Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. You're giving the painting to the cafe. Wow. That's... <laughs> That's really touching. I... I wasn't expecting something like that. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. Thank you for the art. Jeez. I'll come again. Yeah, we'll see you later, Yusuke. Hope you said goodbye to me. Fuck's sake. Hey! I'm up. He did it! He left before I even woke up! The bastard! <laughs> Freaking clock you. Uh, God damn it. Where'd he go? He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. He just left. You up? You're finally up. You know what's past noon? That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off, though. Supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Sayori. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see it here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. <laughs> yeah, about that. Hey. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. All right, sure, we'll head on out. It is a Sunday, which means I can go get that drink if I have the day to myself. Hello. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. 
After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayuri to your protector, Sojuro. That painting should no longer exist in reality. But it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys. I cannot thank you enough. P.S. I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. <laughs> God damn it. You had to throw that in there. Uh, oh well. I guess we got the day. He went home. Oh, God damn it. I'm popular today. What's the group? The fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars. Yeah, that's what, uh... That's what uh, Mishima told me the other day. We target restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. Yeah, this is totally based on that. Oh, the anime was totally based on this uh, this one side mission. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? Too soon to assume that. Yeah, the post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there even are in Shibuya. Yeah, let's, uh, let's look into it. How will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibi in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, seriously. What if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? Hmm. There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that just cause a lot of trouble for boss? LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. That's a horrible idea. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you'd get kicked out if we failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I'd forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we'll just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information wherever possible, though. Yeah. I'm gonna try looking for stuff, too. I got another I am. Uh, oh. Nearly complete. Something you want to test out. So we can level up with Takemi. Interesting. I don't think we'll do that quite yet. He went home without telling us. Yeah, that's, uh, that's totally, that's totally him in a nutshell. Who's available? Takemi, yes. On. Ooh, that is tempting. And we have the persona for her. I think we will do that. Though, first things first, I want to go to the underground walkway. I want to go to that. I want to go take a look at that juice shop. Go to frickin' Jamba Juice. <laughs> oh, hey, Yusuke. So is this where I'm going to find you? The station is always full of people. Perfect spot for watching. Uh, I came to see you. <laughs> what happened to Matarame? I'm going to realize the two-faced complex nature of mankind. People are difficult to handle. Makes for an interesting theme. That is why I intend on people watching here for quite some time. Oh, alright, sure, I'll keep you in mind. So he'll be there, I'm assuming. What is a uh, special drink? What is it? Incredibly bitter, but strengthens your body. Aujiru. Every week we have a different kind of Aujiru. Right, whoa! That is expensive, but it doesn't take any time. I gotta do it. You really need to get pumped up and tell yourself it's for your health. Nice jugging. That's how you do it. I was watching you try so hard. That's a pip of something. Pip of charm. That is super expensive, though. Let's go somewhere else. Uh... Right, we need to go find On. Where can we find her? Is it down this way? No, that's Central Street. Where is the, um... Oh, the underground mall might be this way, actually. Yeah, no, that is a train. That is a train. Not at all where I am going. Me through. That is Central Street, right? No, underground mall. Why is the underground mall above us? That makes no sense. I thought it would be down. Aha! Hello, An. I found you. Hiya. Oh, musical. Are you here to shop today too? Um. Oh yeah, I started training, so you should totally help me out if you have the time. 
Yes, I have Lane and CJ, so I can grow my bond with you. Yes, we'll hang out with her. Yes! Yeah, let's go. Inukashira Park is my train, right? I suppose so. Makes as much sense as anything else. <laughs> Man, big open places like this are great. I think my train is going to go super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. Um... How, uh... You're amazing, On. I'll butter you up. I got this. Um. I think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me, and I'll try not to get phased by it. Uh... What kind of stuff you talking about? I ain't calling you a whore or anything like that, am I? <laughs> I've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. Uh... Okay. With your best shot. Um... <laughs> we... You're a... You're an airhead. Yeah, and... Uh... That response was annoying. What else? Uh... Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no! I want to say that so bad! What would. Uh, what? I feel like th these would just piss her off. Or. I don't know. Can, this is awkward. Can we stop, please? It means I win. What do you mean you win? Hmm? Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? No! It's not! Round two! Yes! Bring it on. Uh, this, uh. You're a, you're a genius. This won't help your heart. I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. I just said that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You finally get it. Hmm. Something's not right. Sorry. Sorry, I just got an email from my agency. Your agency? Oh, right, you're a model. Wait, what's this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Then, when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. It sounds like shoots have been real hectic with all the scrambling they've had to do for sub substitutes. Um, has that happened to you? Yeah. No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. Oh good, that was a good choice. It probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up, too. Hopefully, it doesn't happen to me. Though, actually, my first modeling gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still in Finland. Finland? What? You were in Finland? My parents didn't have enough models for their event. Oh, haven't I told you? My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. Oh, that's kind of cool. They jump from country to country, so I really only can see them for half of the year. Maybe less these days. Well, I mean, I, I guess that freedom sounds nice. I suppose I would be willing to say you probably feel lonely, but... Huh. Okay. I can afford to be pretty relaxed these days. Plus, it would probably be tough being a phantom thief with my parents around, don't you think? It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our living caretaker. I didn't really have any friends. Wow, that got dark fast. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh yeah. about that. Honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I'd want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamashita first spotted me. And that's how our class started those rumors. Because of your modeling? Jeez. The Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Yes! Yeah, sure. Well, I mean, I'll help you get stronger, but... I don't really think this is the way to do it. Lovers rank up. Follow up. So now you All can right. follow up. Cool. New ability for you. Oh yeah. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was the female thief. She'd lose to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person per se, but she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. You wanted to grow up to be like a thief. 
Hope I'm getting a little closer now, if only just a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure. Bye. Yeah, we'll see you later. I say that was a day well spent. We got to know on a little bit better. Yeah, tons of points too, uh, so I'm sure that you're leveled back. up. What do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. After what that guy just said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. You're talking about uh, Gazuntai Kun, right? I know how you feel. Uh, that high school detective. He'd have to shut up if we changed another person's heart. Uh, perhaps. I don't really know about that, though. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Either way, I don't think we should leave Gazuntai Kun B. This is the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather at the hideout tomorrow. Oh, what's this? The usual spot. Oh, that's right. I have a social link with you, do I? Um, it could. It will grow. I don't have a sun persona, though. Do I need a sun persona? I feel like there's some Arcanas people have told me in the comments that I don't need personas for because they just rank up automatically. What can we do? Mishima and Yoshida, both up. Why? I don't have enough courage for you. God damn it, old man. I might just make coffee. I don't know. I feel like it's a waste. Mafia group. I feel like that's going to be our next target. I'll brew some coffee. You're oh. <laughs> heading out to buy cigs. Hopefully this is enough of a relationship boost with him we can get the level up. Oh. Smell of good coffee. Yes! All right. The way you're drinking, it makes it look delicious. More LeBlanc coffee. We still have the other cup of that. <laughs> Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Mm. This acidity. This must be Guatemalan SHB. Let me explain. <laughs> Guatemalan SHB, strictly hard bean SHB, is a grade given to coffee grown at a high altitude of 4,500 feet. Holy crap, that's high. Thanks to the environment it's grown in, the coffee produced has a citrus-like acidity with a fruity, chocolatey flavor. <sighs> the flavor profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast's full potential. Although I see you are preparing to cup the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. We got two pips. Hold on. That was better than the first time. We only got one last time, didn't we? I wonder, is that enough now for our relationship to grow? That could be. That's basically... Wow, that was that was just as good as us just spending time with him normally. Did I not have a persona the last time I did it? Maybe. I don't know. I thought I did. I'm confused. I gotta go back in the footage and I need to see how many pips of relationship I got with the guy. Hi. Ah, fancy seeing you here too, Detective Kun. I didn't think we used the same station. Meeting here must be fate. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm sleepy. Oh? Did you stay up too late? Are you alright? Uh, I do like that response. It's honest, and it keeps the conversation from dragging. You're so strange, I don't know what to make of you, dude. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been wondering how to answer such questions. I suppose it is best sim to simply be yourself and say what you think. You've given me much to consider. If it isn't too much trouble, may I speak with you again sometime? Sure, I suppose, if we run into each other. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ugh, kids these so days. I handed a bill over at the convenience store and they told me they don't take foreign currency. What? But what I gave him was a bona fide Japanese banknote. Don't tell me young people these days don't know who Hirobumi Ito is. I don't know who the hell that is. Uh, oops. I clicked through that too fast. Oh, god damn it! You know it, right? Paper money is issued by the Bank of Japan, but who issues the coins? Is it the mint? The government? Children's Bank, what? Is it the government? Yeah, it's the government. Of course it'd be the government. Exactly. Unlike paper money, coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. <laughs> yeah. 
An independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing paper money since. Yeah, leave it to the private economy, to uh, the private sector to handle that. Nice going. Give me that knowledge. I don't know, maybe uh, All right. getting a level four knowledge before the exams is a good possibility. I still have a month. I think it starts exactly a month from today. You simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. The best they can manage is pocket change. <sighs> I hope the next palace is somewhere awesome like that. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. Money sounds good to me. You never go wrong with money. You do all the things. Oh, oh good, you haven't gone home yet. I... Uh, what? Me? Listen. Nijima-san's looking for you. Could you head to the student council right away? What? There's no report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filing out some paper... What? I do I don't understand. What? Jeez. But I, I just want answers. The student council room's on the third floor. Okay. <sighs> the principal's favorite or whatever. Well, you're running errands for me, damn it, because you're my maid. Uh, Nidra was the girl who keeps following you around, right? Yeah, she is. Did she want? Okay, I guess we're heading to the third floor. Oh dear. What the hell is going on? Where is everybody? Yep, I can't leave. <laughs> I cannot leave the school. Alright, well, either way. Is this the student council room? That's a broadcast room. Student councils! Where is the- oh, it's- Wait, it's the- oh, it's this room. Okay. What were we called here for? This is rather strange. Yeah, you know, what- what could she possibly want with us? Ah, earlier than expected. Yeah, what a- what do you want? Please don't tell me you found something out. Please, please don't tell me our cover's been blown. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? You, uh... Can't answer that? You got nothing on me. Of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. What do you mean? If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Oh, shit. It was from the other day with your stupid cam... I swear to God. That's it. You're dead! So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? What could all this mean? Uh, nothing. Nothing we at all. Up. Yeah, we totally screwed up. We can't keep meeting at school. This is just proof of that. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Uh, ask the culprits. I'm, I'm not I'm not sure what you mean you want to say that this doesn't prove anything don't you I believe that you three are the phantom thieves now what would the police think if they heard my recording oh shit please don't bring them into this it'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance there's no telling what'll happen to you too if you confess the truth I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us you'll tell me won't you why do I, I... I have a right to be silent. This is not going to stay between us. Th that is the feeling I have from this conversation right now. I mean, yeah, y you've been going through some introspective crap. We don't know that. And I feel like your allegiance is still not, you know, to our justice or anything like that. I, I have a right to be silent, you know. That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and your bullshit. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? God. Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. You son of a bitch! Why? <laughs> You're calling at the... That idiot! That total idiot. <laughs> as loud as always. But his timing's perfect. His timing sucks! That's not what's supposed to happen! I'd like
like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? Uh, I guess it can't be helped now. Ryuji, you son of a bitch. I want On to discipline you with her whip after this. Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What? What the hell? What's the meaning of this? Well, uh, Ryuji fucked up, so... I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame? I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. It's all Ryuji's fault. I blame him. Extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? Yeah, what is your intention here, Makoto? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. Yeah, that they are. I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. Wait, what? What? What the hell are you talking about now, girl? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. <laughs> Wait, what? Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible? Well, no, but y you, you know all this already. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer. That is. Well, I feel like we don't have a choice, do we? <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. It's your fault, you know. You have no right to complain. You're the one who did this. She recorded you to begin with, and then you blew it on the phone. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Yeah, seriously. Can we all take turns clocking him? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know. I'm so sorry. No, that is true, but I still blame you. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they can prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. I mean, I kind of agree, but at the same time, I don't know. She really seems to have been going through a lot lately but only us as the player can see that not really um, us as the character we don't Regardless, know that this guy would be in real trouble he's on probation after all yeah things would get rough if we didn't have our leader and I totally don't want to deal with the police then we have no other choice but to go along with it yes it's best we agree at least for the time being we made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah, yeah. My bad. So, we doing this? Yeah, we it's our only choice. We have to. She's All right. cornered us. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll find out shortly. Oh, the rainy season. Ooh, the diner's looking really attractive right now. I'm so effing pissed. Do we just gotta do what she says? But well, considering what has happened, it seems like we have no other choice. I wonder whose heart the student council president would want us to change. Don't matter to me. But there might be a reason behind who she picks, right? I wonder who it is. I do. It's kind of curious, don't you think? Could it be the principal? Maybe. She seems to be at odds with him. 
searching all along. Do 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 Oh god, that's so low. Uh, don't go picking any fights, okay? Do you understand, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? I ain't dumb. Don't say that so loud. It just highlights your stupidity. Hey. She's a shrewd one. Yeah, we should be prepared for anything. Hey. You son of a... Every time something happens, I have to sleep. Fine, let me sleep. God damn it. I'm just gonna go to the diner. <sighs> Want some cash? No thanks. Pay up. You understand the position you're in, right? Ooh, there's some interesting things being said in the background there. Looks like some sort of um extortion is going on in Shibuya. Yeah, but they've been saying that, haven't they? There's been scams and stuff. Hey! Uh, oh, hi! It's, uh... It's you. Going to school now? Heading home. Uh... Who are you again? We never got your name. Huh? Ichiko Oya, a journalist. I interviewed you. Well, yes, I remember that. I just didn't know your name. Oya. Okay. Home letters are tough. All right, well, I'll take your word for it. Well, we got her name now. Interesting. I wonder when and where we can start that social link with her. I know she's a she's got to be a, a link. I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A mafia boss. I... <laughs> what? Mafia? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse, once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. Well, yeah, that definitely seems serious and like something we'd go after, but why is this coming from you? It appears that their victims include some of our students. Oh, that's why. You're trying to do this for the good of the students. Huh. Interesting. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves, or is Akechi Kun correct when he says you act without justice? Uh, Gazuntite. Stop sneezing. Did you say something witty back at her? W witty? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, game? <laughs> Can't you say something witty back at her? Something witty. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Oh, God, this game is fucking fantastic. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. What the hell? You're not giving me much time at all. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> Don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. Oh, hello. What the hell is going on here? Ah, the lovely prosecutor lady. We have got to stop meeting like this. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? Um... <laughs> you never noticed? You are her sister. <sighs> Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Hold on, lady. You asked me to tell you the truth. I told you the truth. Fine. 
I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. Wasn't she supposed to have, like, limited time with us? This interview seems to be going on forever. I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We're in huge trouble! No, 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 hold on. Here the, here the purple-haired knucklehead are out. I, I think he's right about this. Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. This is true. Oh, right. That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. Gesundheit. What do you say, leader? Well, geez. All right, let's prove our justice. I mean, I guess this is our best shot. Hell yeah. We just got to do what we always do. Well, first we need a name. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. We figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Right, sounds good. Meeting adjourned. Great, so we have a new target. I'm wondering, how are we going to go about finding okay. information about this? I'm sure we'll find something hey. new. I... Uh, oh. Uh, what's up? You had a yearning to see Sayori. I... Sure. Yeah, come along. I mean, I wasn't going to go home, but I guess I will now. Indeed. Ah, the Sayuri. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. Actually, it's kind of funny. It does. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. <sighs> Musical. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Uh, what are you talking about? What happened? Uh, to put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Hmm. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, these struggles came to pass on each occasion. And yet now, I find myself in a similar situation. But the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world might call a, uh, a slump. To that tell sucks. The truth. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayuri in my own work. Yet what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move, and the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind. To be honest, I'm unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. Oh, dude, you're you're too tough on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you're so tough on yourself. You need to lighten up. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. Hmm. I only wish to create a work I can genuinely be proud of. Musical, please look over there at the Sayori. Her incandescent figure, 
alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs, because the soul differs. But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. And to be perfectly frank though, I am unsure of how to do so. Musical, would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. Hey, I'd be glad to help. Anything for a friend, I'm right? in your debt. You would? Wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep into an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. See you. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. I walked into the station. I... Wow. Wow. Poor guy. Rain, huh? I hate the rain. It always brings me down. That it does. So I checked online. All people are all talking about it. Now my expert opinion... Ida of Class 2D is guilty. You mean Ida could from our class? Wait, start at the beginning. Why is he, what is he guilty of? Supposedly he's been spending money left and right recently. Said it's because of some great part-time job he got. I see. That may very well be worth looking into. Right? Can you try asking him about it, On? I don't think he'd be cautious around a girl. In that case, yeah, I don't mind giving it a try. Although, I've rarely talked to Ida-kun before. I'll be counting on you to back me up if something happens, Musical. What, me? Only if it's necessary. You could... Social yourself, goddammit. There ain't no problem. World class, wonderful acting. <laughs> Shut it. I hope this will get us even marginally closer to the so called boss. I leave this Ida to you two, and I have high hopes for your acting as well, Om. You're both missing the point! <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll dig some stuff into the morning. 14 days until report to the police. Oh dear, dearie, dearie, dear. We don't even have a palace yet. Oh god. All right. Well, we're gonna have to get some intel on the mafia next time on Let's Play Persona Five. So thanks all for watching. If you're enjoying the series, leave, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to check me out on Twitter at MusicalGamer11. Also, check me out on Patreon. Any donations to my Patreon help the channel stay alive, and even a dollar a month goes a long way to making sure I can provide. Excellent, entertaining content for all of you people, even though I find myself kind of a derp sometimes. I'm sure some of you do too. So thanks all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.